You ready to talk about the holidays? Now with Margot, I have to, it's like, instead of having everything clumped at the bottom of the tree from the kids putting the ornaments on, we have like a two foot empty area around the bottom of our tree. <laughs> Everyone has their own way of doing things. My mom's family actually does like Christmas Eve tostadas. I don't know why that became a thing. At Sid's parents' house, he has so many siblings. That's really fun because it's a big party. When Sid and I first got married, we lived in a very, very tiny apartment and I put a wreath on the door. So we did a tree and a wreath. Everyone has a door. So I, I love that the wreath, the doormat, it's for any size of home scent it gets you like excited for the season and it's one of my very first things that i break out of the decor closet i love to gift scents as well a berry scent always reminds me of holidays because that's what my mom always had in our home growing up there's not such a thing as too much garland i'll put it around doorways i'll put it on a mantle i'll put it up the stairs i'll put it over an opening into a just a room on a chandelier. The, the opportunities are endless. People think I put my tree up in like August because that's when we start showcasing everything, but no, that's not the case. We'll put it out and then we put it away and then we get it out again. When I invest in an ornament collection that sets the color palette, like these velvet ornaments, I use them for several years and then I add interest through different shapes of ornaments throughout. So I'll set the foundation with what I call baubles. Those are round, colorful ornaments. And then I add in all of the shapes. And honestly, my tree just gets fuller every year because I just keep adding and I can't seem to let them go. I think my very favorite ornament though is the picture frame ornament. We designed this frame to have this like twisted gold rope inspired detail. And you know, you could hang one or you could hang a lot of them all over your tree. We've done quite a few here and we have everything from pets to family to travel. Desserts are really big in our family. Everything from Christmas tree spritz cookies to the chocolate crinkles and we do like a Russian tea cake. It's a problem, yeah. <laughs> My mom had a special like platter for the cookies for Santa that we'd put out every year and so I love our plates and trays that have holiday themes on them. I let the kids, this is something that my parents let us do, is that on Christmas Eve we got to open one gift. And it was usually PJs, but um, we do that in my home as well. My girls do have little trees in their room, uh, and it's really sweet at night to see the glow of the lights, and they think that's really magical. And also, I will add a decor to shelving, to bookcases, just other little areas outside of those main ones, even in the kitchen not just like the main spots, but I will like in the pantry, if there's a bowl that didn't make it into the feature spot in the kitchen, I'll still add some styling to the pantry as well. It is so cool to me that we are creating these pieces that are a part of my own family's traditions and other people's, whether it's the cookie platter or it's the tree star. There are all of these items that are part of memories now and in the future. I love that.